Victoria Foundation released its 2023 Vital Signs Report this week. And while Greater Victoria's overall grade is a B, it's clear there's a lot of work that needs to be done in some key areas. With more on that and how this annual checkup helps make a difference, here's Tess Van Stratton. From sticker shock at the grocery store to renting an apartment or renewing a mortgage, the cost of living in Greater Victoria has skyrocketed. I think inflation has impacted uh, a lot of people and it, makes, and it plays into your decision making around how you run your household. And rising costs are also having a big impact on the local economy. So if you're a business person, your, your, your cost of supplies is going up, your, your goods are going up, your labor costs are going up, your, maybe if, you, if you're carrying a loan, uh, an operating loan, your, your, your loan costs, your carrying costs are going up. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that according to the latest Vital Signs report, cost of living is the most important issue facing our community, followed by housing and homelessness. It's important to do this check-in every year because we want to take the pulse of what's happening in the community and really understand what people in Greater Victoria are thinking. This is the 18th year for the Victoria Foundation's Community Report Card, which saw its biggest response yet. This year we were very excited to have over 5,300 people in Greater Victoria take the survey. That's our largest amount of people who have ever taken the survey. And that's important because we, we want to hear from a broad range of people. The region's overall grade dropped from a B plus the last two years to a B. And while overall crime is down, violent crime is up 30 percent since 2012. When you do come to certain parts of the city and you see very visually that what's going on, those things play into where people want to spend their time and that will impact uh, especially our downtown, right? When, when people have this perception of like, oh, okay, I don't, I don't want to go down there. Improving safety is listed as a key way to improve quality of life, along with better public transportation, more affordable housing, lower cost of living, and addressing social issues like mental health and homelessness. When you look at what we're doing as a community, we do have to move from hope to change, and we have to do that together in order to uh, make sure that this is a community that is vibrant for all. The Victoria Foundation uses this data to provide grants and funding for nonprofits working to make our community better. It's one of those underappreciated aspects of, of, of a regional economy is just the role that volunteers play and NGOs and nonprofits and charities and things. And there's so many uh, great things uh, going on around the region. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.